What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Ooch. And, of course, as always, I'm here with the homie Kai. And we are back again. Once again. How y'all doing today? So, we are uh, under the awareness that... There's a there's there's a, a chapter summary or review or whatever you want to call it that didn't happen here on the Full Power Podcast. As a matter of fact, we skipped out for it pretty much seems like it's been like two months almost that we have not recorded a brand new episode of Full Power Podcast. And for those loyal fans of ours that have been reaching out and wondering where the heck we've been. We definitely appreciate that, and like I said on my streams, that, you know, it definitely, it was coming back, for sure, obviously. I mean, there hasn't been any reason to stop, but I will, I, I, I will explain our absence. Use that term loosely. Yeah, I, I will explain our absence, um, just due to the fact that, you know, Kai and I, myself, are you're very educated in this in this medium known as Dragon Ball, right? We understand this at a very uh, at a very core value and at a level that many others might not. And you know, sometimes I mean that's kind of why you know we get the listeners that we get because you guys like hearing our takes, our opinions, our thoughts, and our predictions going forward. Oh, you go get them. Yeah, exactly. So. You know, that's that's the whole point behind, you know, doing stuff like this. And the fact that we were, you know, really, I mean, my God, we were just basically telling you guys what was going to happen before <laughs> this man Toyotaro even put the pen to the paper. Like, we, with with chapter, what, 63, right? That was the one we yeah, skipped? Yeah, yeah, Okay. So when we skipped that one, the like, <laughs> I, 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 I will never forget this conversation, this very short-lived conversation between the two of us. After that chapter came out and we both read it, Kai simply just says to me, I don't even see a point in talking about this, this chapter at all. And, and that's exactly what happened. We didn't even discuss it because... It was as how we saw it happening. Like, I don't remember specifically what FPP episode number this is, but just go ahead and minus one. Look for the one before it. I promise you, Ooch, you're going to have to rename it to fucking spoiler alert because (laughs) we absolutely predicted the fuck out of that shit. Yeah, 100%. And it's crazy because we, it's like, this is one of those things where we would have just loved to be wrong. Absolutely would have loved to be I wrong. Was, I was begging. I'm still <laughs> begging. I, I wish I'd wake up. <laughs> From this nightmare. <laughs> oh, my God. But nonetheless, that is the reason why uh, we, we weren't around to discuss the last time. Because honestly, you could just go back and listen to the episodes, like I said, that we already have out there. And it is as is. And there's no reason, there was no reason to further discuss it, which is why, of course, we are back now, back again, once again, to to talk about this current chapter. And I'm not going to lie, um, this chapter, along with the, you know, obvious predictions, it we, we predicted up to this point. Right. Right. So we're back again, once again. <laughs> yeah, so we're back again, once again. And I'm actually glad that... We, uh, we we got the chapter that we got because there's a couple things I definitely want to highlight and talk to you about specifically that uh, I was not expecting and that I think could lead towards some new things. Surprise! That is something you never really hear in Dragon Ball. New! New things! That Not new colors, yeah, new things. New things, right? New concepts, new ideas, new possibilities. And it makes for a great conversation. So... Um, the way we're going to do this time, I mean, normally I have the chapter in front of me as like a little guide, but this time around, I feel like this, this, uh, chapter was very, it's very easy to remember exactly what happened because, um, like I said, some, some new things that, that took place, 
I don't know about you. I reread that shit like twice before I got on this mic. I'm making sure it's all fresh. I'm looking at it right now. Okay, well, that's good. The whole prediction with Miris disappearing, dying for the good cause, um, and that and that cause was to ultimately stand up for, you know, what he believed in, and the real reason to push Goku to the Ultra Instinct. Mastered Edition. Available now at uh, select retails, right? And you can... And, and, and you could just feel the, the disappointment, not even just the disappointment, but just like the, f oh my God, like this is exactly what we thought was gonna happen. And the funny thing is after every chapter comes out, I always go to brother Ooch and I always tell him what happens because this man pretends like he doesn't know how to read because he doesn't, he chooses not to read manga ever. And he would much rather me just tell him what was going on. So he could just imagine it all in his head anyway. And I tell him verbatim, like, event by event that takes place in 63 and when i told him about how i was right you were right and that mirrors is gonna go so that way he can just like go into ultra instinct and i told him how the last scene was goku in that stance that stance where you know here it comes the big power up this is the moment as soon as i told him that he goes uh! i'm like no this is I'm like no this is no like come on like this is exactly what we were try we've been trying to avoid. We don't want this like easy to predict cookie cutter bread and butter like yeah. format, you know? That's the whole thing. So, 64. So the fight ensues, you know, well not yeah, the the, the fight the, the fight obviously is going to carry on. But here's the first difference that I definitely wanted to talk to you about is that the normal formula is the Saiyan loses somebody, the Saiyan gets angry, the Saiyan becomes stronger, right? Yep. Goku withheld his anger. He literally yep. clenched his fist and then he let go. And he took a deep breath instead. And instead, he took a step back and was like asking Jocko, why are you in the Galactic Patrol? And based on what Jacko's answer was, you know, to, 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 you know, do justice and do right by those to protect. Say, yo, I'm trying to be part of that drip team. Yeah, right? <laughs> and Goku's like, that's exactly what Mirror said. And he's like, it's almost like I'm a part of the Galactic Patrol as he like, you know, pointed out the emblem on his, on his gi. And, and then he goes, even if Mirus is gone, his will lives within me. So I'm like, okay. Okay, Shonen Goku. Okay, like, you know, this is a Shonen, but, you know, all right. Like, this is a little flavor of difference, I guess, if you, yeah. if you must, right? Because Goku's known to be very about himself, about his, about his own family, you know, about his own planet. This is the first time where he's, you know, really coming out of pocket almost, saying what he's saying about... Uh, you know, like how he's he, he's now trying to protect the galaxy and everybody. If you that you know anyone that's trying to do wrong by anything, injustice. He's not about that. And I'm like, okay. And because of that, he wasn't out of anger. It wasn't because Miris was gone. He then finally, not even just mastered, but we find out from Whis shortly thereafter. Once he pulls out this Ultra Instinct, that it was per. Affected. And I and I have to say, the wordage it, it definitely oh, had yeah. me pop off. All right, you could you could watch the reaction I did to the chapter. It's on the it's on the YouTube channel, of course. But when he said Goku has perfected Ultra Instinct, I I had to ask: Is perfected and mastered the same thing? Is there are they synonyms? Or do they mean the same? Because you can master something, right? But does that mean you, you're you perfect at it? Does that mean that you're perfected at it? And some might say, well, if you master something, that means you did perfect it. Or some might say, well, even though you master something, there's still room for error because, you know. Oh, yeah. There's room for error in mastery. So I think perfected is some new shit. And, yo, I'm shaking because... Th this is this is od because if this is the form that this is the form that we all thought it was the first time right right because the instant he said that i immediately thought to myself i want to see the rematch 
between Goku versus Jiren. I absolutely <laughs> now want to see that happen. Before, I didn't really care because Jiren kind of like mollywopped everybody and there was like, you know, like there was a whole, I don't know, tournament that was going on where it was like five on one, three on one. Like, you know, you had your mixture of battles. It was never like an, a fair and square one on one fight. And even then, Goku, even when he had his Ultra Instinct, it had its imperfections and it wasn't perfected. Even though it was called Mastered then, as you said, it's perfected now. Yeah, buddy. So here we are. Fast forward to the Moro fight. Goku is not even looking at Moro. He is literally not even making eye contact. He literally has like a 45 degree angle away from this dude. Literally, not even, like 90 degrees looking in the opposite direction of wherever Moro's trying to strike him. And Goku's just dodging everything with ease. No problems, no questions, no qualms, no mustard, no ketchup. This guy is out here straight up dodging every single blow, every single thing completely. And, uh it's amazing it's truly amazing that he he is in this perfected state right and even moro asked him like how are you doing this how are you dodging every single one he's like not thinking oh cool you're just not thinking like so perfection means you don't even put a thought into it it's just it just happens and this is exactly how you make a form where this should be it ladies and gentlemen there should never be anything that supersedes or overcomes or outdoes perfected mastered aol.com ultra instinct okay this this is it and this is how you do it you you built up moro to be this huge like this humongous threat to not even just earth but like the entire universe as we know it this guy is going from planet to planet absorbing life energy from from the inhabitants of the planets to the planets themselves. This dude is OD. My man is literally in his own Madara prime state where he ha even has a copy of himself within himself, but he's in a prime state. So it doesn't even make sense, right? This guy is OD. Like the, he, we have seen some pretty bad villains, like bad as in like badass, right? And I've been, I've even gone on record saying that Moro could potentially be like the next best biggest threat that we've seen in a long time and there's a lot of nods that go back even to like the Frieza stuff because it's like you know even when and then we go later into the fight where Moro starts to get a little desperate and he's like oh if if, if, if this is how it is then I'm gonna I'm gonna start absorbing the the life energy of the earth right now and then he has like his own moment where he's like I'm supposed to be like this like I forget the word that he the, the phrase that he used but like like this unstoppable force or whatever and like when he starts powering up literally the earth turns into like this volcanic erupted freaking like from the earth's core type stuff just like on namek when goku fought frieza for the very first time and the planet was like was about to explode it literally reminded me of all those things that happened and i was like dude this is this is so crazy like this is awesome and like you got the freaking lava coming up literally the, the 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 land that they were fighting on literally turned into lava and and as soon as it's so funny because as soon as moro threatened the earth that is when goku like it's like he turned it up even more so and then this is this is the part i'm like i'm like i might be skipping around a little bit but this is the part where I really noticed a huge difference with Goku, right? And this is where he says, Jacko, do you guys have a death warrant or like, you know, a death penalty against Moro? And he goes, uh, uh, yeah, we, yeah, we do. And, and then Goku then removes his gi, the top part, he's not naked, right? He removes his gi and he goes, so from here on now, I'm going to I'm going to continue fighting Moro as an earthling. And then we go to Beerus and Beerus goes this could be really bad. And this where the chapter ends. So, I'm going to now turn it over to Kai cuz I want to hear your thoughts on all of this before I say anything else at this point. I mean, you went over it pretty well. It's uh 
this chapter is exactly th this chapter is literally him turning that form on and showing it off mm -hmm. that's that's what this entire thing is and that's such a big statement because we already went over the you know mastered versus perfected wordplay so i'm not going to get into that but that's a very 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 strong point <laughs> that a lot of people might just overlook and just call it a translation error i don't think it is mm. like I really don't think it is like looking at the way he's fighting, looking at the way he's taking it seriously, controlling his emotions, like everything that we've stated, right? And even on top of that, Beerus has seen this form pretty much every time it's come out. Right. You know? Um, except for like maybe earlier points in this moral fight, but you know what I mean? Like Beerus has seen it multiple times over it because he was there at the T.O.P. and he watched it progress right. and you know even all the gods at that point you know stood up when uh goku mastered it right and they got all that he gave um he got all that respect oh i the forgot gods. about that 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 moment was oh d i forgot all right? about that yeah so yeah so he got the silver hair he mastered it and then all the gods stood up in respect all the gods of destruction and angels and they all stood up in respect and then here it got amplified mm -hmm. because Moro charged at Goku. Goku literally hit him with the no you, froze him, <laughs> lifted him, and just one punched him. Yep. And the like Moro's face says it all. Moro, like, he got fucking destroyed <laughs> by that punch. <laughs> he he got uninstalled by that punch. Right? And Beerus just looks at him and he says, perfectly done. Yo, did he also say it's the way he's fighting is godlike? He literally said that. Yes, he said, yeah, because he said perfectly done. And Weiss was like, oh, oh, a rare bit of respect from you. He said, yeah, respect where it's due. The way he fights is godlike. Uh, oh, my God. Fire. Absolute fire. And Goku, like, keep in mind, this is not mastered ultra instinct this is perfected mm -hmm. mastered ultra instinct goku didn't talk yo that's true goku's smiling goku's looking up like yo lord beer sweets what are you guys doing here he's like yo don't stop i'm trying to eat let's finish this wrap it up facts yep 100 percent goku's holding conversations goku's controlling emotions goku's fucking it up like this is this is new yo <sighs> oh yeah that's actually good points i didn't even realize like, that he was definitely talking and yeah and like goku's body is moving on its own right so that means sometimes as we've seen and i'll I, i'll you know reference that in a moment but sometimes as we've seen if your body's moving on its own sometimes you might not really catch on to what just happened you just know that your body knows to sense danger and react accordingly that's what's happening with ultra instinct right yes and we i mean it's not confirmed but you know we think that we and the angels have that as well but um since he's teaching it to goku we see goku uh kick the shit out of moro oh uh God. moro tried to go up behind him and hit him with the sneak grab he Yeet. went through the ground goku didn't even look at him kicked him kicked him all the way into one of those volcanic eruptions coming out of the ground and it like fried the shit out of moro and goku looked at it like huh oh shit <laughs> like he he looked at moro like oh damn son you got hit with the wombo combo like he didn't even realize he kicked him in that it just happened is this also the part where we finally start to see moro ask for his forgiveness and to spare not him? not yet okay he got kicked into the lava he fell down and goku told him like you're done it's over stop playing with earth this isn't you know this planet is not for you and he was like oh yeah then i'm gonna consume it and then goku kicked the shit out of him again and then he asked for help right okay yep that's a, that sounds right Ooh, what a chapter what a fight like this was what a, a fight what a one-sided absolute beat down yeah this guy he this is a this was actually a wash like yeah oh yeah like you could you can't even say it was a fight because moro tried to get any hits in but did it happen absolutely not he literally he threw everything that he could at him you know all the, the Goku treat Immoro like Toriyama and Akira, uh, Akira Toriyama and Toriyotaro treat Vegeta. <sighs> wow. That's all I gotta say. Yeah. 
it's is really unfortunate and you know speaking of vegeta this chapter makes you forget about everybody else that was involved in this fight leading we up had to the point. galactic avengers patrol we yep. had everybody trying to clutch this fight from the very beginning yep. and realistically speaking this arc was supposed to be for vegeta i don't give a fuck what, about what anybody else says about that this was supposed to be vegeta's like dubbed and no yeah this goku came in and was like huh not nah, check out this goku privilege you know it's so funny because like if you, when you when you really think about it on the grand scheme of things like if you go back to how everything started right like the starting point of this arc and then how it develops over time it really does seem like this definitely was supposed to be set up for vegeta like all yeah. the hints were there all the the little nuances the clues the references the 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 thought process backstories like the the, the 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 dialogue that was coming out of vegeta himself and the decisions that he made it was just like this is how you essentially write a character to become the transitional main character like like yeah like like thinking about it like all the shit they put vegeta through in this chapter like he went to yard drat to train this right. man got instant transmission this man got a whole healing technique and like sealing technique like energy sealing i mean um you know type of energy sealing i forgot what it was specifically called it's been a minute but um he the got Fissure all kinds thing. of new abilities and he was fighting like way better than he was before his moves looked like goku so he got promoted to like goku status and then goku got promoted to god status fact yeah like that's dude that is how it is and that's a, that's a great a great segue into what i want to specifically talk about because at this point in time i have to ask the, i have to ask this question what do we do now as far as goku is now established whether you you look at it from Whis's perspective, Beerus' perspective, Miris's perspective, my man's one of his final words before he literally faded away. He said that no one <sighs> should ever be able to top you. Straight up. That's it. He said nobody. Yep. That he said never again. Yeah. Like. So who's to say Goku can't beat Whis? Who's to say Goku can't beat Beerus? Who's to say Goku can't literally defeat any single person? If you have now finally written, like this is Goku's whole tale from Dragon Ball all the way to now has always been some kind of low-key underdog story. The underdog is no longer the underdog. He is the best and strongest character now. If, if, if by that decree, this dude has perfected Ultra Instinct, Ultra Instinct is it? Like, there's, there's, the only thing that he needs is the Hakai. And, you know, like, that's it. Like and He did that in the manga. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot. In the Goku Black arc. Yeah. He, yeah, I remember that. I forgot about it, but yeah. I, I he said, Beerus, sorry, I need to borrow your move. Hakai! Yeah, he tried it. That shit had me screaming. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, like I have to ask, like I have to ask this because like here's the thing with Dragon Ball as it is, the IP, the franchise. This series has every bit of potential and actuality to go on all these for a long ass time. It can yeah, it can, it can realistically go on for however long they really want to milk the shit out of it. But at least they could be smart about it and take different looks at certain characters and angles and give us these side stories and not even just side stories but just give us the chronicles the backstories of, of a, a bunch of characters like because dragon ball has every potential to be as big as like how star wars is where the the the, the the ip itself is so popular that they could literally put out just about anything whether it's and still profit yeah and and like whether it's a game or it's a tv show a cartoon a movie as long as it has some placement in the long-term story of you know the main thing like this is what dragon ball could be like i would 
I would just like to cut into that for a moment because that's a really good point. Like what you just said, when you think about it, they can make games, movies, you know, shows, cartoons, blah, blah, blah. They can make all of it. And, you know, as long as it holds something to the story, then, you know, people are going to get into it. But let's stop and think about how popular Dragon Ball is to the fact that that shit don't even have to be relevant to the story and people buy into it. Look at fucking Dragon Ball heroes. You're absolutely correct. And that's, yeah, that, that is Dragon Ball true. transcends whether people care about the story or not. It's just more material with the franchise. They're like, oh, bet. Yeah, like there is a medium for just about any kind of fan. Whether you're someone that's a purist, that you just love, you love whatever the original, like whatever comes out of the original manga, whether you're a fan of all of the what if stuff and you love seeing all of these crazy things that would make no sense on paper but the fact is that they're doing it through these games like super dragon ball heroes and the promotional anime like there's there's an option for everybody and they could they can take such big advantage off of this idea that they can do whatever they want with this franchise but if they executed it in the way that we've been praying for and requesting heavily and wanting to see i just think that it would just add more value overall to the franchise to the ip and you know whenever the official anime does decide to come back then it's just, it's just gonna be that much better it's just gonna it's gonna it's gonna sink in that much nicer and i i'm you know like with with this goku conversation going on like he is he that's it like because i was talking to brother uch about this in uh in a, in a in we went to my dad's house the other day and we had you know that was a two-hour drive so we had two hours to talk about this shit that fucking car ride went flying by because we were talking dragon ball <laughs> right and we was talking i was talking about all this stuff right and i and i and i helped him understand that the reason why villains are loved and appreciated adored like cherished defended against is 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 based on what they do who they mess up who they are destroying what kind of resume do they bring to this villain application right if if you have a villain any villain right it doesn't matter who your favorite is right but if they come into the show and they make their presence known and they fucking wipe out X amount of planets, X amount of people, they take a few names that are known, that person, that villain is a force to be reckoned with and that makes people pay attention and that makes people aware and ready. Like, oh, don't sleep on this character because they did this, that, and the other thing. And then yep. it gets to the point where then they fight our main characters and based on whatever they do to them is what is what makes uh it, it's what helps the deciding factor with fans to nessa to to realistically like kind of put them in like a, a class like a tier like this is how strong and this is how much of a threat this character is in comparison to this character like frieza to this day is so popular not just because he was like realistically the first big bad of dragon ball z but it was because this guy has been a part of the history of why the saiyans are not even around because he Facts. he wiped them all out he took Facts. out the main character's race that is always he's he will always have that against cell majin Buu, spopovich <laughs> Bobbity, like <laughs> yo, chill, chill. yeah. <laughs> like he, he's gonna, he gonna have, he's, he's gonna have that against every single villain that ever comes through, no matter what. Even and that's why I like comparing Moro to Frieza, because they're almost similar, they're almost identical. But Moro is almost like he's taking that to the next level. He's not just wiping out like one like very notable race like he's he's he taking took out the dragon ball avengers yeah he did he he took them all out like by himself i mean yeah he had obviously he had like his power-ups and stuff but like what villain don't have power-ups that's facts you know like that's just a part of it that's a part of the formula that's a part of the the recipe yep. 
to yep, yep. writing a, a like a great villain. But when you have a character that has superseded any villain, that automatically that has superseded everything. Yeah, yeah, it superseded everything. That automatically makes any villain worthless. And yep. at that point, what am I what am I trying to get at? I'm trying to get at the interest level in said story lessens. It becomes almost because worthless. Predictable. Yes. Like, you know the hero is going to win in the end. Give us a villain that's going to change the meta. Right. And if you have if you have the villains as they are now, and you have Goku as he is now, in order to keep the interest levels high in, you know, fans, to attract new fans potentially, to Dragon Ball as a whole, you cannot have Goku stick around anymore. And you can't have him play the role that he has had for the last 30 years you can't because if you do people are just going to lame out dragon ball more so than they have ever before goku cannot this is the this is the part in the story overall where they have to change it up because if they don't there's no point they could literally get to after moro's done they could go right to end of Z. They can have the they can have the world tournament. They can introduce like three year old Pan or however old she is. They can introduce Oob. They can have exactly how the end of Z played out, where Goku's like, "Yo, I sent uh, Majin Buu in this kid. Oh, his name's Oob, dude. That's Buu backwards. What a coincidence. This can't be a coincidence. That's it. They can have all that still play out the way it plays out. They can have Goku sense this freaking this this dude's potential, his power." that is uh, resting within him and they, they 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 fly away they disqualify each other whatever because they're out of bounds and they have to the show must continue and that's how z ends if yeah. they listen if 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 they do this still this is the perfect opportunity for Yo, goku could pass that huh he could pass that what do you mean he could pass that? oh yeah exactly he could pass the torch he has to he has to. Yo. He has he to. Pass that. He pass the torch. Forget Gohan. The Gohan's done. He's got a daughter. He's chilling. He's great Saiyan man forever. Okay. <laughs> Oob. That's the best way to fucking put it. Yeah. Oob is is the next one. He's the next guy. Make the fucking story now be around Oob. Goku has fulfilled his role for 30 years. Let him go let him go as 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 hard or as difficult as it might seem it, it, that's a big pill to swallow for a lot of you guys right now that might be listening but just hear me out i just yeah i just like backing up on that like i agree with Uch. like y'all gotta let goku go like he's definitely he i'm not like he is the baddest one around like he's the best there is hands down i'm not complaining i'm not arguing with that even in the slightest all i'm saying he's got way way too much time he's got way too many people on his list like his his resume is so fulfilled that he needs to just retire and give other people a chance that's all we're asking for dude and exactly. honestly like the reason we're asking for it is because it's like you know what don't get me wrong i love goku as one of my all-time favorite characters and just like anime and just like you know all things fantasy in general but you got to think about it we watch this man go from child to saiyan super saiyan super saiyan 3 4 I'm just gonna slide that in there uh -huh. and then god and everything else like we saw goku approach god levels and literally catch a hand chop from beerus and it put him from super saiyan 3 all the way to ko and now beerus is looking at him said wow the way you fight is godlike mm -hmm. this dude put goku to rest just let somebody else have a shot right just let it be i don't be. care if goku's the mentor i don't care if he comes in to like help out occasionally whatever but let let him like like yo he's godlike let him be with Whis, enjoy their food while they watch the show from now on Ex dude 100 percent. like that's that is exactly what needs to happen like goku whether he fulfills this mentor role or whether he decides to become the god of destruction or he you know he he, he takes on some kind of godly presence and that's the role that he wants to fulfill. I mean, look, he could even be another, he could be Universe 7's Jiren, 
where he is at that level but decided to turn down the position he doesn't yeah. he doesn't need that title to prove that he is He's not gonna the best. take the title i just want him to take the back seat i don't care about yes, the title. yes i'm just using that like as a you know just like sideline yourself goku look i don't even want him to just be the back seat bro i want him to be the caboose to the entire train i want him to be Yo, at the him very the nose bleeds <laughs> nose bleeds, son <laughs> he needs to be all the way back there because th look as and and here's the thing i know this must be this must hurt a lot of goku purists and goku fans okay let me just make one thing clear i fucking love goku yep a same. lot a lot of us love goku okay goku is always gonna be in people's top whatever okay yep even if this guy is flawed and eats chicken all the time and just wants to keep fighting and even if he has all these memes against him dude at the end of the day who you who you gonna call? It's not the fucking Ghostbusters. You gonna want you, you gonna want your boy Goku to have your back. It like top top anime pro tags in Shonen. Goku's always gonna be on that list for a good reason. Especially now, he might shit on just about any other Shonen freaking character at this point if he's got perfected Ultra Instinct in the back in his back pocket. Listen, all I'm saying is understand where we're coming from. Because in order, if you if you want to keep Dragon Ball around, if you want to have it last as long as eternity, you need to make these changes. You cannot, cannot have the same character be in that role the entire time. Because it's one of two things. You either let that shit happen, and then it gets boring, and then it, then it just dies out in a bad way. Or you end the shit, and then that's the close to the entire story, and then all we have are, like, fucking video games and the fan mangas. That's it. So if you want Dragon Ball to last, and you want it to be good, that's the thing. You, we want a very well-written and well-thought-out story to enjoy, to discuss, to entertain ourselves by. And... The fact is, like, there's always going to be more enemies. There's always going to be, you know, badass villains. But Goku cannot be the one to answer these calls anymore because he's been doing... Dude, he's been having that shit on his back for a long-ass time. And it's not even it's not even that I'm saying he's done it all. Like, as far as, like, he's the one that has stopped all everything. But he's definitely had his hand in everything as well. Like, thinking back, it's like, who defeated Raditz? Piccolo, but Goku held him back, held Raditz so that he could do the freaking special beam cannon. Freaking, he 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 was able to what defeat Vegeta before they had to go to Namek, and then by the time they get to Namek and the big bad fight happens with Frieza, Goku was the first to defeat him, didn't kill him, but Vegeta's freaking son from the future cleaned it up with the mecha version but goku was there he was ready i mean he, he was right there he had super saiyan ready to go with the yard rat outfit and fast forward a little bit more it's like this guy took out the, <laughs> the androids and shit i was gonna say well, watch watch goku let moro escape and then we get future trunks in 10 more years to come finish the deed on moro <laughs> dude you know what's crazy man it's a shame how oh my god trunks is it seems like trunks is just gonna be like more than his dad even though his dad right now has like the the stronger power-ups and all that shit but it's like it's not yeah, like yeah. it's not like trunks can't ever get to that because my man literally was 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 leaking god aura i don't care what anybody says he was leaking that shit why he have a blue aura around his ikari rage form i don't care <laughs> that shit like come on he was he was pushing it he was pushing it very hard you know give trunks a little bit of guidance this guy is your next super saiyan god he's your next super saiyan blue he you know he's all those things and he needs to be because he's the he's the only one they got in his timeline right now so considering considering we're on fpp and you know it's it's been a minute right since it's been a minute since we've seen everybody i'm gonna go ahead and uh give everyone a little treat by throwing this and saying that 
you know, what, what, what we're looking for is for the torch to be passed. You know, Goku to take the fucking nosebleed section backseat and not do anything. You know, we don't care if he's a mentor or, or anything, whatever. But we just don't want him to actively be involved in all these fights anymore, right? Right. So, we want the torch to be passed. It's got to go to someone. It's got to go to someone capable. And Goku just learned how to control emotions so that he can get stronger. <laughs> You're funny. All I'm saying is where's broly look i know you did that for me i know you did and i and i appreciate that and i respect that because you know you're everyone knows but you you know that you know that while i did do it for you i still <laughs> like to think with logic that's true and uh where's broly <laughs> i said that that story was coming at a later date it's almost that time i'm at yo low key all right here, here hear me out Here's, here's how I kill two birds with one stone. And <laughs> here's how I kill two birds with one stone, okay? Imagine. Oh, no. Imagine. Here's, here's a scenario I'm sure nobody has thought of, okay? This is a, this is a fucking full power a podcast. Original, right? Yeah, exclusive, 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 <laughs> right? <laughs> this, this, John is about to, this is about to hit hard, all right? So, oh, my God. So, end of Z. We have Goku vs. Oob World Tournament. We have Goku Oob flying off because Goku needs to start this training for Oob to bring out his full potential. But instead of where it picks off how we're used to seeing it in GT, instead of them going to the fucking like hyperbolic time chamber, instead nah. he goes to Vampa with Yo, Oob. And nobody's thought of that. And Goku has not just one, but two pupils, two Yo, students to teach. You cannot put a little malnourished slave up against Broly to try to train. But listen, how, how, like what better scenario do you have? Like I would love- child abuse. No, 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 listen. I would love to see the, the Goku teacher arc where he struggles stop, to, where stop, he struggles stop. to to now figure out how to teach somebody that has all the power but doesn't even know how to control it and then also teaching somebody that has the power doesn't even realize it yet that those two dynamics in one is a seller that shit's fire i dude I would amazing. like to say that it's so fire that it's actually never going to happen. <laughs> I would just like to point that out like blatantly right here and now. I'm telling you. It's it's too fire. It's never going to happen. It's too fire. It wouldn't happen, right? It's too right? fire for Dragon Ball. It's not. Yo, once upon a time, I also said that, uh, you know, Broly was so popular that I believe one day he was going to come back. And look what happened. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, Akira Toriyama could do better. <laughs> <laughs> Facts, though. So, that's my thing. I think that that, w that would be awesome. Because they, they... He's also not trying to do better, I was just going to say. like. Oh, no, he's you know, not. Yeah, he's just trying. He's not. He's not, try he's not actively trying to do better. He's like, you guys and your fucking Dragon Ball here. Yeah, he just writes a script and gives it to them. And then whatever, yeah. you know, like... That's kind of how it goes. However, this moral arc has actually been all Toyotaro, though. Oh, I know. Yeah, so that that was completely but he on not, him. But he's not doing it better either. I'm not gonna lie. Well... Not as far as telling the story is concerned, because yeah. all this shit, like, I'm not saying the moral arc was bad. It was very, very good. But there, there were such big oofs that, as an <laughs> overall, it disappointed me. Yo, big oofs. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah. I mean, it was a good arc. I'm not. I'm not stopping that. It was definitely a really, really fucking great arc, actually. Yeah. But uh, that for me personally, the 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 oofs that did happen, they were way too big, and they make me like want to just you know close the book. Yeah, and that's a thing because you know, it's like it almost feels like this particular arc was it. It almost seems like this was the last resort for Vegeta to just finally get the fucking due diligence that he is owed, deserved, and, mm -hmm. you know, because at this point in the game, like, they, let's think about this real quick. <laughs> They're not gonna... Are they, are they really gonna squeeze in another arc after this? I highly doubt yeah. it. 
You think they're not? Nah, 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 dude. Th dude, think about everything that has happened up until now, and then what is literally right there. Right, what's right there, a aka the end of Z. They have, after they defeated Majin Buu, right, they literally met Beerus and Whis, and the world of Dragon Ball as we knew it just fucking expanded to levels we didn't even realize. The fact that there's multiple universes, the fact that there's other gods of destruction and and angels and all these things, and that angels are stronger than gods of destruction, and gods of destruction are already OP as fuck. And they have this realization. Then Goku and Vegeta learn about the God Key. And then they have another run in with Frieza. The Frieza shit happens. Then. Oh, okay. So you meant squeeze in another arc like before the end of Z wrapping. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah okay, I see what you mean. After all. Um, I don't know. Like, that's the thing. After all the things, like the the scrimmage tournament b between universe six yeah. and seven the the your favorite goku black with my favorite freaking future trunks that whole john then we had the the lead into the freaking tournament of power that it, you know whether you include the the pro the prologue stuff that obviously transitioned itself right into it there is a lot that went down and even the term of power in itself was a lot and then after that broly freaking broly gets brought back into the fray and now we have moro i didn't even use my fingers to count but i could tell you that those are a lot of things to have take place within a 10 year gap and oh yeah and like <laughs> after but you know what a whole arc can be you know 48 minutes Oh my god. <laughs> mm-hmm. So they should have just made that jump 47. I'm done. They might as well have. It's one, it's one minute difference. But anyway, whatever. <laughs> but but yeah. It's one minute difference. They they dude, they literally cannot they cannot do another arc before end of Z. Like they have to just wrap it up. Please hit the button. Wrap it up. Like that it needs it, it, they need to tie this knot so that way we could just continue the story after where z ends because the fact of the matter is and i'm sure there's people that forgot about this super literally takes place within dragon ball z you could argue that imagine if they ever did a re-release of dragon ball z and they just straight up threw in all the things that happened in super and they didn't even dub it super they just called it dragon ball z because it literally takes place within that fucking time frame, I can't, can't even get mad. Can't even get mad. You can't. Because guess what? Super is Dragon Ball Z. Super literally is within Dragon Ball Z. You can't have Dragon Ball Z without Super because of where the shit takes fucking place. Like, like I could literally have a fit. Oh, <laughs> this is actually funny. I'm, I'm visually thinking about this. You take the 26 <laughs> volumes of the manga of Dragon Ball Z. And then you could go to the very last chapter or whatever it was. Right as they defeat Kid Buu, you can take that John, cut it, and then start importing all of the, all the of manga Super, yeah. from Super. <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right. And then close the book when with the end of Z shit. And now we have a new we have new things to work with. That is literally that is the truth. And I'm telling you, I'm speaking for a lot of people when I say they need to close it out and i don't want them to be squeezing in any more fucking arcs i don't i'm gonna be honest i that's not something i actually like like i i knew about that timeline but like i didn't actively care when the end of z was gonna happen because i always felt like they were just gonna give us the same open ender type of thing i didn't i don't really see them they absolutely can expand on it and they most likely will expand on it but i just i don't i don't care what the next arc is i just need it to happen yeah i mean because i just want to know like like most people like i just want to know what happens next and like goku's literally godlike so now what right now what and that you know this 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 brings us back to what we were talking about earlier it's like now that goku is at the top he should take a back seat clearly take a back seat and either play the mentor role 
and you know still train those that he wants to train and look out for and take care of because you know the way goku's character seems it seems like you know he still would love to be the defender and the, the you know the the guardian of everything because of you know the the stature that he has achieved now like he is on the same level of these gods as a saiyan as a human you know like he is not even an immortal being or he's yeah he's not he's immortal he's a mortal right and if you if, if you have a character like this i was i was just gonna say like he's not even just a mortal being he's like he's a fucking saiyan saiyans have about like maybe slightly longer than human lifespans hit is a mortal and hit's been around he's over a thousand years old damn yeah that's right i, I didn't even realize that i forgot you know, like lifespan of mortals completely varies dependingly. So like the fact that Goku's been around for 50, somebody like Hit's been around for over a thousand and Goku got Ultra Instinct, you got to process that. Yeah, like th there's all sorts of races out there that they have a life expectancy that outdoes Earthlings by crazy amounts. I mean, and that's, that's you know, that also adds reason for, you know, me to want to see them tie it up and just go to end of Z because how many people have been complaining about not noticing any distinctive difference within Goten and Trunks being <laughs> the same oh, same childlike like everything because I'm telling you right now it's gonna be this fucking funny where you see Goten and Trunks as they are now then they finally decide to go to end of Z and then they have their fucking Puberty. teenage forms it's like it happened overnight literally I can see the memes now and that's the truth but I like, but again, they could do it with the time chamber if they wanted. You know, that'd be kind of funny. <laughs> that, that would be funny. They'd be like, oh, yeah, just got back on some new training. Oh, yeah, that new Go Tanks move we're using is going to be great. Teaser. Ooh. Yeah. And then they come with their little teenage form, teenage Go Tanks. Ooh. And see, here we go. That is stuff I want to see. I want to see not Dragon Super Dragon Ball Heroes version. No, I want to. I want to see Toyotaro Kiritoriyama version of these characters in the story, the main story. Okay, that's what I want to see. I want to see all this stuff, and I want to see more of these characters handling themselves. I want to see them having whatever threats that they have, and I want them to take care of it. And also back to the Vegeta thing really quick. You know, I really did feel like, you know, they kind of missed they 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 missed the opportunity. They missed the They did not miss any opportunities. They hold man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They didn't they miss shit. Him. Okay. All right, fine. They hold him. They hold him <laughs> in such a way where like he should have been the one, right? Because again, yeah. at at this point when you get to the end of Z stuff, it's almost as if like anybody that comes through is going to be almost meaningless for Vegeta to take out because let's say he does take them out. It's not, it's going to feel flat. It's going to be like, oh, okay. Well, it's going to be like, oh, Vegeta took him out. I bet Goku could have flicked him. Oh my God. Exactly. Exactly. And it would, it would, it's, it's that type of like response that I'm just like, this is why Goku needs to just stop. Yeah. And it, it dude, and, and it, it, this is why like, any other character that would step up to the plate and be the one to take out whatever threat that's of uh that's presented the, for them it'll be fine it'll be great it'll be good to build that build that resume up but it's almost like vegeta has literally just been there to fulfill the support role and that's fucked up because how do you have a support character at multiple times throughout the series match your main protagonist like and not even just match him he's had moments where he surpassed him where they even admitted that he surpassed him does it seem to matter absolutely the fuck not because they always let goku be the one to really do it in like my man's son has more wins over himself trunks i'm talking about he's got more w's than than his own dad does dude vegeta has no big wins none like think let's think about this i'm gonna lay it out for you guys once again i'm sure we've done this already but like like piccolo got a dub freaking goku got a dub against vegeta goku has another dub against frieza 
Uh, let's see. Trunks had. <laughs> Trunks has a dub over over Frieza. Uh, like, I guess I don't even know if you can necessarily count Vegeta having a dub over Cell in his imperfective form because Mans was too cocky and let him finish what he started. Wait, wait, wait. That sounds awfully familiar. Can we refer to the end of this chapter real quick? Thank you. Oh my god. I will I got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, yeah. The difference the difference is that when Vegeta when Vegeta was fighting Moro, Vegeta didn't let him go get stronger. That's the difference. Moro just kind of fleed. He had like Oh, a, I know. Yeah. I'm just saying that Goku's about to fuck it up right now. Right. Gohan, everyone's favorite. They like to remember this guy as being like one of the greatest characters, blah, blah, over his one victory over fucking Cell. But guess what? He had help. Let's not let's not forget this. Yes, his moment was awesome. Yes, he had the, the bur- Gohan, stop being a bitch. Like, he had that moment, and he went Super Saiyan 2, tear in the eye, had the one hand Kamehameha, but his dad broke the rule, went down to give him that extra push just so he could defeat Cell. So did Gohan really defeat Cell? Well, that's another fucking discussion all in itself, and I'm not gonna have that right now. Fast forward to seven years after that. Uh, Vegeta took an L, not a dub, an L. Not only against Goku, but against Majin Buu, where he had to sack himself in an effort. He literally, do you know how memeable that shit is? You can, you can, li like, it's... Hey, 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 don't gloss over my man Vegeta's win against a pool. Oh! Uh! <laughs> Who? <laughs> As I was saying, <laughs> my man tried to defeat Majin Buu so desperately that he was like, I'm going to blow up myself. I'm just going to do it. And that'll count as a win, right? What kind of what kind of win is that? Guess what? The guy regenerated two minutes later. No problem. Uh, they bring his ass back. Fast forward. No, everyone was was taking L's. Everybody, Gotenks, Piccolo, Gohan. Everyone was taking L's. Vegeta, Goku. They all took L's. Finally, they have the moment where they fight in Kibu with the help of fucking Mister Satan. My man, the world champion, Hercule, with his help. Who? Hercule. Helped Goku get the fucking spirit for the bomb to drop it on Kibu. Wasn't Vegeta's influence. Yeah, he was He was definitely part of that fight. But it was, this, it was during this fight where Vegeta realized that Goku was better than him. It was Vegeta's idea, Hercules' inspiration, and Goku's executioning. And Dende's wishing. And Goku's ultimate dub. That is his win. He closed it out. Was Vegeta the one to send the spirit bomb? No. It was Goku. Time and time again, and I'm using, I'm using these examples from just Z, because this man has no dubs in Super, still. Like, we go to Super, we go to Goku Black, guess who fucking got that shit? Trunks. Z sword, spirit sword. Uh, no, he didn't. No, okay, wait, but okay, come on now. He he did, but then obviously after that, it still wasn't Vegeta. But like, I don't know. Like, I I know what you mean. I definitely know what you mean. I just and it actually like believe <laughs> believe it or not, it actually has nothing to do with my Goku Black favoritism because this is now merged. <laughs> talking about who I don't give a fuck about, realistically speaking. Uh huh. But um. I just, I like to think logistics, right? And the logistics are literally nobody fucking beat Merge Zamasu. Like, you had a deity coming, like, all right, right? Here we fucking go. Here we fucking go. So, you had a deity, even in this moral arc, come down from their pedestal and nerf the shit out of Moro. He said, no copy ability. All right, Goku, mm -hmm. go ahead. Fuck yep. him up. Yep, yep, true. Literally came down and nerfed him. And you're like, oh, well, that doesn't matter. Goku's still going to beat him. He would have beat him even with that copy ability. Okay, but we're not going to get to see that. 
Facts. Miras nerfed the shit out of Moro before this fight happened. I would have liked to see it happen with the copy ability, to be completely honest. But no, he got nerfed. Now Goku here to finish this shit. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Goku Blacks is even worse. Chunk split him with the spirit sword. He's half immortal. The man came back and regen after every single attack from every single thing. Final Kamehameha from Vegito. Regen. Yeah. Everything. Literally everything ever. He ate his own... I forgot what it was called. Divine Purification, that ultimate that he threw at Goku. And Goku literally pushed it back on him with a Kamehameha wave that was way too strong. He ate that shit twice. He lost the beam struggle from the father-son Gallic gun. He lost the beam struggle from Goku and his own privileged ass self. And he still <laughs> regened after it. He did. And you know what? They didn't have a deity come down and nerf Zamasu. They had a deity come down and poof him. Yep, they had to. But uh, so Goku Black and like Merge Zamasu still remain undefeated. Like if Moro gets defeated here, I'm gonna be sick because this arc was looking like it was gonna be even more intense than the fucking Zamasu arc was. And now Moro out here getting bodied. Oh, he's gonna. He, you know, he's gonna. Like there's. Th I don't know. I I actually don't know. I don't really have any crazy fucking predictions because, you know, Goku's godlike straight up. Literally. But you know what else is godlike? His accuracy to fuck things up from not paying attention and letting his villains do what they want letting them go dragging a fight out to hold a conversation honestly i think with the changes that we've been noticing in goku i don't think that's that 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 room for error is even a thing at this point because you're right i want i want to agree with that but beerus's face tells me otherwise well the thing is with the whole beerus face reaction with like this could be really bad i feel like he said that because he's 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 recognizing the change within Goku and that Goku is is the one that is making the calls, whether who lives and who dies. Because Yeah, to, and if he lets Moro live, something bad could happen. Well that yeah, you know what? That is true. That is definitely that's true. Because like that's what Goku does. He lets all of his villains live. And he literally said, Jocko. Is this guy sentenced to death? Jocko said, yeah, you trying to kill him for us? Goku said, nah, let me fight him as an earthling. Beerus is like, uh, no. I free, I read, I took that. My interpretation of that situation was literally that because he was not going to do it as a galactic patrol representative, and he was gonna do it as an earthling and now that he has his whole newfound power and that he's he's been giving man's the hands and yes he we have seen goku do this time and time again where he he allows them to fucking live on i'm telling you i think that the part of the reason why beerus is a little afraid is be just for the sole purpose that this is going to be a goku that we're not used to seeing he may just very well and moral for good and that's so, gonna be something that is almost on the god level where it's like okay. god of destruction type shit they decide who goes and who stays and that's an interesting interpretation and it is different than mine so let me ask you this with your version mm. why would beerus have a bad feeling about literally having this fight finished so that he can go eat his food that's true and i guess my answer to that is just simply because um what do you call that goku like this is this is the first time to to have something like that because like you know these these characters they know they know how all these how, how all the characters mannerisms are they know how they they've been they know their track record they know what they're all about the forgiveness the this the that they're gonna put them down and if they and if and if they they keep coming back they're gonna just keep stopping them type energy this all i'm saying is that as fire as dragon ball is was and always will be this shit's repetitive as fuck <laughs> i got a bad feeling about this too beers yeah i mean i hope i hope for you know all all case purposes for the the sake of this staying interesting and not predictable i hope that i'm right when it comes to that because we got this what? far no, I, I... Wait, 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 that doesn't make any sense. I hope, okay, so you hope that you're right. I hope that I'm right for the same exact reasoning. What do you mean? So you hope that you're right for what reason? I hope that I'm right so that way we're not seeing the same predictable shit anymore. 
okay 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 so you're you hope you're right so that it's not predictable and we want goku to kill him so that we he puts him down and that's out of the ordinary right for me i want i want him to be predictable in this sense because if he fucks up who's gonna do it nah yo stop vegeta's done vegeta's done like they, all i'm saying he's done is if he fucks this up who's gonna do it perfected dog perfected ultra instinct he's done he's not he if it, listen how do they oh my god if if they do that shit it just it just it's just a more that's not predictable it's more of a snowball bullshit effect because if they if they slip up here where they set this guy up to not just master it but have fucking perfected it and he's making these perfect decisions and all this crap that goes along with it for him to just allow him a chance the same bullshit that he's been doing for years and years and years with every single fucking villain that they've had to fight i'm telling you that shit would be atrocious because then it's just like wow how do you botch because you just at this point you botched perfect ultra instinct how do you botch that shit well welcome to dragon ball how can we help you you there's exactly i'm sick of that i'm 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 exactly. done with this dude i'm done with this i literally like this could be me just being very hopeful for better content material I'm just you're you're like we're both right we both <sighs> don't want it to be predictable but at the same time, I want it to be predictable. Like, you want it to be new in the sense that Goku's going to kill somebody. I want it to be new in the sense that I don't care if Goku fucks it up. Like, if he fucks it up, like, somebody somebody got to do this. Somebody got to be a real bad villain. Like, death don't mean shit in Dragon Ball. Like, come on. And everybody talking about Mirus' death, shut the fuck up. That shit just happened. Okay, I have a compromise with you then. So that way we're literally on the, on the same page. If, let's say, for some reason, Goku goes... And he tries to give this man a chance. And it lets no 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 hear me hear me out. Let's say he goes for the chance. He goes for the chance shit. He plays the chance card, right? And of course, Moro being the asshole villain that he is, he fucks something else up. But when he goes to fuck it up, it is actually Vegeta that steps in and gets the final blow. And goes He's like, even with a even with a new godly power, you're still the same Kakarot. That would fucking make everything okay. It could they can homage it like when Goku and Frieza were fighting on blowing up and Vegeta Vegeta got rezzed and he saw Super Saiyan with his own eyes for like five seconds before he got ported to Earth. Yeah. <laughs> ported. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's literally what happened. <laughs> that that okay. That that is what I would be accepting of because that shit would be fucking awesome and then here we go even i don't even care i don't even care i will defend vegeta to to the end for him and that being his big w because yes mirrors had to go then goku you know had to what? go perfect ultra instinct all that had to happen and still the one who got the job done was vegeta i don't care he's gonna have that one mirrors had to go can we talk about the fact that death doesn't mean anything in Dragon Balls except for the angels? Yeah, that's crazy, right? That sucks. And you know what else? I also wonder if the Super Dragon Ball the Wow, the Super Dragon Ball heroes. I wonder if the Super Dragon Balls can wish something like that to happen. Because isn't their rule they could do they could wish for anything at all, period? Have we thought about this? Yeah, that's uh, that's been the biggest problem about Dragon Ball Super. <laughs> Is, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's stuck around long enough to have write all these rules and have all these clauses and shit. And like, who's to say he can't literally gather them and wish Mirus right the fuck back and say, "Hey, next time, let me do the fighting." Hmm. Yeah, because I mean that 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 in itself is a little flawed because. Even like no matter what what way you look at it, because like if you go about it in on the angels side, and they obviously know about the Super Dragon Ball heroes. Or, wow, I keep saying Super Dragon Ball heroes, the Super Dragon Balls, right? <laughs> and and they they say like the Super Dragon Balls have the power to grant any any such wish at all. Like it supersedes the limitations of the regular Dragon Balls. However, they can't wish back 
things like angels. That in yeah, itself, deities. yeah, like, but that in itself doesn't make any sense. You can't have, like, why would you have something and state that if you could wish for anything but, you have that but, that actually, no, that's bullshit. That's stupid. They should, they should, by that definition, be able to wish that shit back. They should be able to wish back all of the fucking, the, uh, the lost universes that got vanished, you know, like, all that stuff. They, they should be able to do that kind of thing. Even if, like, they say once they're gone, they're gone. There's no bringing them back. Like, okay, call in the Super Dragon Balls then. Like, oh, because, like, if that's, if that's the case, like, imagine they, they try that. Imagine they try that, and then they, uh, what do you call that shit? They try that, and then, um, like, and then the, and then the Super Dragon is like, oh, shit, I, I guess I can't do that. <laughs> like, that would actually kind of be kind of crazy, to be honest. I feel like it makes sense. It would make sense if the Dragon Balls couldn't do it just because, you know, they always hit us with the actually, and I feel like that's, that's the best place to put it right now. Yeah. But they can do whatever they want, and they have been and continue to do whatever <laughs> they want. So, so... To wrap things up, because we definitely, we've been on for more than an hour here trying to, you know, well, not trying to, but definitely talking about all this stuff and the future and blah, blah, of, you know, the current situation that we're presented, the things that we want, that's the, our, that's our predictions, you know, yep. stuff like that. Um, I gotta ask, what do you think, like, what could, like, if, if they, if Goku, if they're gonna stick with this formulaic... Goku's still gonna be around even when he's the best like he is not the underdog anymore type shit if you like what would be like and I, I have a situation I have a scenario but I want to see I want to hear if you, if you have any what would be the best case scenario to even keep the story of Dragon Ball interesting with Goku's newfound power of being the best hmm that's it can go in so many different directions and the only reason I say that is because even though this is something specific to Goku, we all know how anime works, how just <laughs> protagonist versus antagonist work. We all know how power-ups work, blah, 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 right? Ultra Instinct is an achievable form or what, uh, technique, what, whichever you prefer to call it, um, to any race that trains hard enough. Right. Yeah. It doesn't need to be Goku's form forever. And if it doesn't become his form forever, if somebody else gets it at any point in time, that's when shit's going to get interesting. Yeah. Because you have two people in the most perfected godlike form. Who's going to win? Why did they win? And how can they improve? And if they can't improve, then where does the story go? Because this story, like, all of Dragon Ball is literally just about getting stronger. So if you have two people fighting each other in Ultra Instinct, what comes after that? Because that, that's the only thing that I can think of as an endgame match. Yeah. Yeah. So, my... Like, what the fuck would Moro be like if he just copied Ultra Instinct? You know what Ooh. I mean? Like, if Mirrors didn't come and smash that and then Goku, like, let up for one punch worth. Yeah. Yeah, man, that's the thing, like these these types of shows there's always like it's always a matter of who can be who can be who can outstrong the other when it when it yep. when it matters you know and like moro literally can like i'm i'm so sick about the copy thing being lost because this is what it could have been it could have been goku running out of gas getting copied and then moro having it maybe moro eventually losing the copy and then on some shonen shit his body remembered how to move on its own because it was you know, it's backup data that just got stored there, and now it's just chilling. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good. That's a good thought. That could have. That's that's what could have made this the most ultimate fight in Dragon Ball. Yeah, I hate that. You know, but they fucked it up again, just like they fucked up Goku Black. They had a deity come down, nerf the shit out of the villain, or kill the villain, 
Just in this case, it was a nerf. And then I feel like it just kind of ruined it. So I don't really want to see Goku just fucking cyber bully the shit out of Moro <laughs> next chapter. I want to see cyber. something real happen. I want to see scraps. I want to see blood flying. I don't know. I don't I don't want to just see Goku take the win and then we go into that meal time Itadakimas clip. I don't want that. Oh, you gave me an idea just now for, for that to happen. But um, I, I, I want to say before I forget... The thing that the idea that I had, right, is if they do keep everything the way as is formulaic wise with Goku being the guy anyway, I think it would be interesting. And I feel like this would be one of those like movie situations where I mean, I hope it would they would count it. And especially what I'm about to say, they should they definitely need to fucking count this shit, right? They have they have the like the movie and it's like it, and it could be titled like Dragon Ball Super the movie the fallen angel right and this movie Stop. listen to me listen to me the, the the movie the premise is about a fallen angel and i don't mean fallen like mirrors type shit i'm talking this angel is an angel of past that was high up in power and was a part of one of the universes that got wiped why did they get wiped how come we don't know about these things well, so, I mean, we know that, what, Zeno, they just, what, they just felt like it or something, right, I think, was was the explanation that we got? I can't remember. Well, when, oh, like from, uh, yeah, yeah, you're talking about wiping out the other universes? Yeah, the ones that haven't been around. Yeah, they didn't quite elaborate on that. So, what if there was some, some truth behind it? What if there was an actual story behind it that we would obviously see through this movie, where this angel wanted things to be differently? This angel sought out for more of a purpose. Instead of a sense of justice, maybe he sought out for a sense of vengeance. Well, maybe not just vengeance, but you know how all the great Could villains... Could be anything. Like, the, like, uh, like, part of what makes villains great is, like, they have, like, an actual purpose behind the actions that they take. And sometimes they're not just, like, your average, like, bad guy, robber, I'm gonna go fucking rob money out of a bank type shit. Like, this is a dude that was very smart. He was very appreciated and loved and worshipped, obviously, from all the people that he knew of this guy. But because of how things are supposed to be, quote unquote, supposed to be, he went against those things. And because he went against those things, it resulted in their, like, you know, their extinction, essentially. And basically, this tale gets passed down to whomever that it is their goal to essentially bring this angel back to life to back into existence right this is on some Yu-Gi-Oh! remove from play but we're gonna bring oh you back anyway God. type shit right and the angel comes through and of course like this time it's not a matter of oh Zeno can't just like wipe them and that's it like this guy gets brought back but with buffs like that shit don't work on him hakai don't work on him how the fuck do you stop an angel how do you stop a god a higher deity of levels that we can't even understand right that is how you make a character that not only it would first of all it makes sense to the lore of the overall story right there and there it, it checks that off the fucking list right at the same time it also gives our brand new perfected ultra instinct motherfucking goku a like a one more opportunity at being the underdog and really putting this fucking power to the test because if no if like imagine if all these other gods and, and and angels try to get involved and this is the first time we see angels fighting like this movie could be perfect this could be something that acknowledges a lot of requests that people want to see we want to see these gods fight we want to see these angels go toe to toe why are they so strong but we never get to see them fight that's bullshit i want to see it this is because this could be the first time we see that shit and then it all comes down to goku imagine if <laughs> imagine if within this movie this dude handles all these angels all these gods nobody can stop this this guy right and they decide okay because it's now a part now it's all about 
it's like the you all the universes have to come together to fight this guy. We get to see fucking Jiren back. We get to see Hit again. We get to see all of our favorites from all the other universes come through. Maybe a couple new see ones. Vegeta for one frame oh, after he says he's the principal. Ah, come fans. on, come on, come on! Right? We we see all these things. Right? We see all these things, <laughs> and we see the likes of Jiren getting fucking bodied. We get we get stuff like that to really upsell this this new angel villain, whatever though, however you want to call this guy, right? And it's up to Goku to whip out the perfected. I and mean, who else? Yeah, who else? But dude, that is how you write that shit correctly. And after that, they can't do that again because, like, I mean, that movie actually, like, that movie concept actually deserves money. Oh yeah, I should I should be getting royalties for this shit. I'm gonna put this shit on the we, internet. Yeah, we should have been <laughs> the way we fucking talk about what, what should happen. Yeah, like I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna make this his own video. To be honest, like this is gonna be sectioned to be its own thing. Aside from so obviously, if you're watching the po- you're listening to the podcast, of course you heard it here first. But boom, this is straight up. That is how you that is how you stick with the same formula Dragon Ball stuff that they've been doing for the last 30 years. Have Goku well, at the time. Right. Yep. And you do it okay. Right, exactly. So that's that's the scenario that I thought of. And that's the only the only sensical one that would make sense. Aside from, you know. And like when you think about like even seeing the Angels fight, right? We still haven't seen Mirror's fight. Everybody's like, what are you talking about? 63, you know, the one you guys skipped, you know, he was fighting. No, he fucking wasn't. Go back and watch the chapter. <laughs> Moro even said, yo, why are you, you're concealing your true power. I mean, that part we knew, but he said, why are you relying on a tool? Think about it. He did not put a finger on Moro until the final punch. That's how busted Moro angels are. was using are. a power pole or whatever you want to call it, because if he made contact, that's when he's going to start disappearing. Faster, right? Yeah. Faster. Yes, a lot faster. So he literally, like slowed the process by not making direct contact moro was literally about to come in contact like moro's fist mira's face and mira's was like oh god i need to block this instead of blocking what did he do he brought that pole right back to block it he was like whoo that was close yeah my man was fighting with with nerfs against him just so that he could last a little longer in his whole uh existence uh, fading away process so a lot of a lot of things that you know like that just goes to show you how truly broken the, the angels are so there's i mean there's there's so many things that as far as what dragon ball could be what it could turn into there's so many things that we would love to fucking see happen and is it are they ever going to is another question entirely of itself unfortunately so yeah so I guess uh, with all that, um, should uh, what's it called? Do you do you uh, do you have anything else you want to talk about? Add real quick or shout out or anything like that? No, I mean, it's pretty much it. Alrighty, so we will try to be more on a regular schedule rather than just be monthly, even though that's kind of how we've been doing it for the last few months. I'll go ahead and say for all the people that are definitely like Uchi's support you know supporters and followers much love for that but this one that last chapter was definitely on me because we predicted the shit out of chapter 63 so bad i did not want to talk about it <laughs> yo and like i said it was literally all good i actually laughed about it really really i did like i read your me- i was not trying to talk I, about I, it yo. I, I, was like- <laughs> I read your message and i just started dying i was like dude it's fine it's, it's totally okay um but yeah i mean to, to keep a more uh, regular, at least on a weekly basis, because that's that's how that's how I wanted Full Power Podcast to be. Um, I'm ready. Yeah, like just if you guys, of course, you know, feel free to throw out any suggestions. If there's any things, anything that we already talked about, even within this episode or previous episodes that you want us to elaborate more on a little bit. We could totally save those for their own episodes, so that way the Full Power Podcast doesn't become the Full Power Dragon Ball Super Chapter uh, Review Breakdown Podcast, because that's that's how, that's kind of how it's been. But yeah, just a reminder, guys, this this podcast is you know for us to be full power out of control with all the things, the craziness that that Dragon Ball as an IP as a franchise has to offer. I mean, there's there's 30 years 
of content that's still going on. I mean, I'm not suggesting we fucking talk about Super Dragon Ball Heroes, but I mean, they're definitely stealing off Young Gigi 100%. Um, yeah, uh, there's plenty of things to talk about. So, you know, even, you know, even with going on with, you know, things that could relate to the chapters, you know, things like we, you know, the mo this movie concept that I just fucking came out of. I literally I'm just. pretty tight because I'm ready to buy my ticket for that movie, dude. I know. I know, right? It's crazy. Well, we do have Jump Festa. That did, that that got announced that it's going to be online, of course, this December. Um, Remember what happened last Jump Festa announcement? Uh, yeah, the, the lack Nothing. thereof. Right, so... You know, I you gotta I have to put that out there because you know I'm sure that there's gonna be something anime related that I'm sure we'll be into, uh, but there's obviously no promises that uh, or guarantees that there will be anything in concerns to Dragon Ball. But if we're gonna get any kind of fucking announcement, it would be then. So that's what we said last year. So we said the year before that. So yeah. But anyway, it's been your boy Uch. It's been the homie Kai. Make sure you guys are always liking, sharing, subscribing, leave your comments of all that stuff in whatever description or comment section. If you're on Twitter, you can definitely follow us. Um, oh, wait, you're not on Twitter, are you? Uh, I am. Oh, but you just don't use it, right? Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. All right. Um, but yeah, all the links in the description to supporting the social medias and whatnot. Join my Discord. I've been a lot more active in there now, too um we could definitely do try to organize some uh dragon ball watch parties at, at some point in time oh, i'm game with that mm -hmm. so join up the uchi gang discord become a part of the uchi gang um make sure you guys you know world's still crazy out there so make sure you guys are staying safe keep it locked with it right here on this channel stay safe stay guys, clean wear your masks yes please yo just wear your fucking mask I, i've been pretending on my ass is overhaul every time i go out out if I have to, because my, my mask literally is like a beat. You already know, I've been rocking this since before Corona. I, I, yeah. Yeah. So, keep it locked, loaded, guys. Stay safe, stay clean, stay inside. We will see y'all next time.